As a video editor, I've been getting more and more requests to edit Zoom meetings, and I have some tips to help you. So in this video, I'm going to give you my top five tips for how to record a Zoom meeting. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Wonderful Lida, a digital course video producer based in Vancouver, Canada. I teach video production to service providers so that they can film once to teach many. If you have a course idea and want to learn how to film yourself, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I have new videos out every Wednesday. So I joined a Zoom meeting with my lovely partner in business and life, Ryan Cummings. Hi, Ryan. And we're gonna give you some tips. So for starters, I'm gonna show you how to record the meeting. To record, all you have to do is go down here on the bottom and hit the record button. This is gonna give you two options. One, you can record it to this computer. The only thing you have to keep in mind when recording to your computer is that after the meeting, it's going to take some time to process that recording. So if you have a meeting right after, this isn't the best option for you because you won't be able to join a new meeting until that audio recording has finished processing. And then the second option is to the cloud. This is great for if you have low or bad Wi-Fi signal because you don't have to record it onto your computer so it's not taking extra Wi-Fi and basically you can just access it through Zoom, log in and see all your audio recordings. The downside of this is you have to pay for extra storage so if you don't have a lot of storage online for Zoom then you're going to have to pay more or just delete each of your recordings after you record them so that you have more room. So I'm going to record to this computer because I don't have a meeting after. Recording in progress. And it's going to start recording. Zoom is going to let everyone know that it is recording and they are going to have to agree. So this brings me to tip number one. Pay attention to your interviewee's video orientation. So if you look at Ryan here, his video is vertical and mine is horizontal. This is going to be hard to edit them together because you're gonna have all this empty space on the side while Ryan is talking. So instead, ask your participant to change their camera orientation so that it is horizontal. Ryan, can you change your orientation to horizontal? Please. Awesome, see as he changed it, his video has filled up the entire screen and now they're the same video orientation so that it's easy to cut and edit one video to the next. The next thing to pay attention to is your view. So you can see your view here in the corner. Depending on how you change your view, so I can have my view as a speaker view or I can have gallery view and that's going to show everyone and as it's recording it's going to show everybody. What I suggest you do is that you record in gallery view because when you record in speaker view, Ryan can you say something? Something. It's going to take some time to switch over from one person to the other and you can't really see who is on the video so it makes it harder for editing later. Instead, change it to gallery view so that you have both recordings of both people the entire time and it's easier to edit for later. Tip number three is continuity. You want to make sure that the lighting, the background, and everything in your shots is consistent as you're filming. So if I'm filming my interview with Ryan now and all of a sudden it gets super bright in his room and he puts on his sunglasses, it's not going to be consistent. One shot he's gonna have glasses on and then the next shot he's not gonna have any sunglasses so it's gonna look kind of awkward. Make sure that everything is consistent in your shot so you don't get any awkward continuity errors. Tip number four is make sure whoever's not speaking is muted. It's, it's really, really frustrating when they're talking as you're delivering your speech. So ask whoever is not speaking to mute themselves just to avoid any unneeded noise coming from their mic. Tip number five is going to be a couple things to watch out for when you're doing your interview. For starters, you don't want to ask really long, complex questions with multiple sections in them. Also, you want to avoid people saying things like I said before because 
you might not include the sentence that they said before. Instead, make sure that they answer one question at a time and not refer to anything that they said earlier on in the interview. And then once you're done with your interview, you just go to stop recording. The recording will stop and you can exit and your meeting and it's going to start converting your meeting recording. This may take some time depending on how long your recording was. Then it'll take you to the folder where your recording is. So here I can see my Zoom recording and I can see just the audio version. So it saves both the video and the audio and just the audio itself. You can access your recordings by going to your documents, your Zoom, and then you can search by date and then you can see the latest recording. While you're recording, you're not going to be able to see who is on speaker view. So here you can see that I was on speaker view and Ryan went on speaker view, but you can't really tell who is on speaker view while you're recording. This is why it's best to record gallery view because you can see both people. So there you have it. Now you know how to record a meeting on Zoom. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or better yet, leave me a comment below. I have new videos out each and every Wednesday. Until next time, peace.